Hey everyone, welcome back to Poplar Preparedness. Uh, we're going to do a review of what I'm seeing here in the Pittsburgh area, the stores here. You guys please chime in and let me know if what you're what I'm seeing here is what you're seeing there. Um, there's a an interesting trend here where I'm seeing more and more generic products disappearing off the shelves, uh, mashed potatoes. Uh, it just we're seeing the great value brand disappearing. It seems like, and this is my suspicion, that the name brand companies are prioritizing their name brands and they're not giving as much resources to the generic brands. And those generic brands are starting to disappear. But remember, um, <laughs> The same amount of pasta is going to be bought one way or another. The same amount of mashed potatoes are going to be bought one way or another. The thing is that uh, we're going to be seeing that the people that were buying generic are going to have to go over and buy name brand now. And when they do that, the supply of name brand is going to drop as well. And so I, I think that what we're seeing here is a very real systemic uh, shortage of some of these products and they're trying to prioritize their name brands where they make more money but that is going to show up that if people don't stop buying the stuff we're going to start having some serious holes that aren't going to get plugged very fast so let's jump into it and see what we're seeing on those shelves all right we first start here at aldi um, we're seeing uh, continue to be issues in oatmeal as well as like some of these breakfast foods Previously, it was limited to frozen breakfast foods that we're really seeing issues in, but now we're seeing those issues spread to Pop-Tarts, particularly generic Pop-Tarts. We're seeing the generic Pop-Tarts disappearing off the Aldi shelves, but yet the name brand is there. We're seeing that across the board, lots of these type of things. Uh, instant mashed potatoes are just going poof, disappear. Now there's the boxed stuff where you have to add the butter and the milk, but the ones that are pre-mixed, that are dry powder mixes, I was sawing, uh, see them here gone from Aldi, but then I also saw basically the same thing happening over at Walmart. Um, when you start seeing the same thing happening at multiple different uh, supply chains, you have to ask yourself the question, what ingredient is suddenly disappearing? And uh, with the mac and cheese out there, I'm wondering if it's something to, having to do with like milk products or butter products um, that, you know, like they put in the cheese packets. Um, we're seeing continued issues here in the cream cheeses as well as um, other dairy products and such. As you can see, gaps in the store shelves here again. Uh, Plant-based milks, like almond milks and such like that, are in very short supply. That is an issue that has continued on. Heavy creams as well, issues. Particularly here, um, we're seeing that uh, lunch meats in Aldi are disappearing. We have not really seen that the lunch meat issues really hitting Aldi, but we're seeing that happen now. So whether they're getting enough uh, of the turkey and the chicken and the, the pork in so that they can kind of make their lunch meats, where is that all going? That's a, that's a legitimate question out there. Uh, continued holes in frozen um, potatoes at Aldi, but the frozen potatoes at Walmart did not look bad at all. Actually, they seem to be relatively well stocked. Uh, we're over at Walmart now. We are seeing some serious issues in pet food and food for like birds and such like that, particularly in stuff for chicken feed. Um, it seems like we're hearing from farmers that they're having a hard time getting feed for their chicken and their livestocks and uh, that's what we're seeing on the store shelves even at the retail side of things at, at walmarts and such cream uh, some varieties of cream cheese particularly all those gaps that you see here on the shelf for cream cheese are all the generic uh, great value brand uh, of, of tubbed cream cheese now blocks of cream cheese have reappeared but the tubs it almost making me wonder once again is there like one or two ingredients in that that are really in short supply eggs are starting to disappear once again we see a, i saw a lot of holes here um, aldi's have been low recently but i didn't see them out of eggs 
Walmart, once again, you can see here there's different varieties. You may have to buy a different variety than you, what you want. They still have them, but they are definitely lower than before. Um, Gatorade, here's a question for you. How many months has Gatorade been in short supply and how have they not been able to fix the supply? It's it's water with sugar and electrolytes in there, right? Salt and maybe some uh, additives and stuff like that put in a plastic bottle. They, they've they been short for over six months now. Uh, I, actually, this was this was an issue back in the fall, so we're, we're going back even further than that, um, maybe up to a year. They've been seriously, seriously short on Gatorade for, for a long time. Why haven't they been able to fix this issue? That's just That just tells you where our supply chain is out there. Flour is is an issue. Is that just because more people are baking? Um, but th the supplies are down on flour, and we've been seeing kind of uh, patchy holes there. There's bad harvest for sure out there, but uh, those should not be hitting the store shelves just yet. Um, we'll continue to see what's going on with that. I'm sorry about this being blurry. There it is. Got one that was clear. Cooking oil. Cooking oil has been just decimated. Every time I go back uh, in the last month or two, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse each time. Remember, a lot of this comes from soybeans and from corn. So the corn oil is low, but it's still existent down the bottom there. But soybean oil and canola oil, extremely, extremely limited. That's not, that's not like a bunch of people came in and grabbed some. That is, they just didn't restock it. And why aren't they restocking it? For weeks and weeks, is it because they're just not getting enough in from the warehouse? That's what's happening, folks. Uh, pasta, we've been having pasta issues for quite a while now, and yet we're still having those pasta issues. And this is, once again, before the harvests really get bad. Um, this is Durham wheat from the prior year, a hard red wheat, which is winter wheat in Canada, particularly, and in northern United States. They had a bad harvest last year. Um, this year, it remains to be seen how bad that really turned out to be, but we heard um, a lot of things that were not so good. Again, spaghetti sauce shortage. We're just seeing the generics hammered hard here. Um, whether it's just because people are loading up on the generics in order to save money or whether the generics are not getting as much supply from the factories and, and the raw resources because the brands want to focus in on their name brands that produce more revenue. But however you like to put it, those gaps on the store shelf, once again, when you see that deep, when people start taking spaghetti sauce, you expect them to start taking it in the front and go to the back. Usually they don't get all the way to the back before it gets restocked. So to see that that deep of holes tells me that those have not been restocked for weeks um, or have not been seriously restocked for weeks or totally restocked. Mac and cheese has holes there. And, of course, our canned pastas, which are high on the list of things that I suggest stocking up on. They are like an MRE in a can, but super cheap. Um, 67 cents or whatever for a generic brand um, pasta in a can, and you have a meal for somebody. Uh, it doesn't even have to be heated up. It's better if it's heated up, but look, look here. All the great value uh, mashed potatoes, gone. All the Great Valley mashed potatoes, they just spread out the Idahoan mashed potatoes, the Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, the Betty Crocker mashed potatoes. I ordered some stuff online. I ordered some uh, Great Value mashed potatoes online, and they said it's out, and they substituted in Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, which are a little more expensive, so I'm not complaining. But just right there, where are all the Great Value instant mashed potatoes? This is a big deal. And once again, they can't just change things around. They can't move things around. This has to be coming down from corporate for them to start plugging those holes. So something came down from corporate for them to plug those holes. 
which means this isn't just my store that's having this issue and it's not just a one-off. That is something that's happening within the system at Walmart. Beans, canned beans. We're seeing canned beans out there having less and less supply. People don't buy a lot of canned beans and yet the canned bean section is actually quite big and usually it's just like stocked the gizzards, but it's been dropping and depleting more and more. And I don't believe that's because um, people are just buying so many of them. I think that what's happening is, is that they usually don't have to restock this section very often. And they've just been drawing it down by just not restocking as much as being taken off the shelves. And it's just been slowly dropping. Uh, one one side note here, uh, right in the front there, we have the garbanzo beans. Those are definitely something you want to probably pick up. If you don't have laying hens and you need uh, you need eggs to go into baking, if you want to bake stuff that that normally would have eggs, you can use the juice from the garbanzo bean cans as an egg replacement. It works. Uh, it's the, one of the best. Uh, vegan egg replacements out there. It's just the liquid from the garbanzo beans, and then you can use the garbanzo beans for food, else, you know, for salads and making hummus or whatever you want to do with them. But the juice is an egg replacement. Look it up. Uh, they, they, um, also, uh, the, the canned tuna, generic canned tuna, gone. See, we're just seeing that across the board. We're seeing a generic, great value brand disappearing on a lot of things. Uh, great value brand, um, uh, what's it called? Vienna sausages. Those have disappeared as well. We're just seeing a lot of these things. Uh, generic spam, the luncheon meat. Uh, I had my order canceled on that as well. And looking on the shelves here, no canned uh, great value spam out there. Once again, just kind of where is this stuff going and how can there be this systemic of an issue? Vinegar. Are more people canning? Well, I picked up a little vinegar right after I took this picture because I am going to be canning my uh, 10, 10 pound chub of ground beef. Um, so maybe that's a thing, but um, it just really seems like the vinegar is not being restocked as fast. And that seems to be an issue across the board with other uh, places as well. Um, rice and beans still are there. If you want to stock up on rice and beans, you can do so right now. It's not too late to do that. Please go ahead and do that if you haven't already. Get those. Uh, I've been getting those uh, totes over in uh, the home section. I've been getting totes and I'm putting a rice and beans uh, in those totes. I don't need them to last 15, 20 years because I don't think our country is going to hold together 15, 20 years. So um, I'm just dropping them in the in the bags that they exist in into those tubs you can do something similar if the whole mylar thing is just too complicated for you you can always go back and repackage them um, but uh, get what you need now and and get those socked away coffee section continues to to shrink coffee and co powdered coffee creamers are just disappearing folks we said this, I mean, we talked about this harvest last year uh, ad nauseum uh, back in uh, the fall. And this is where we're really seeing it hit us. The, the coffee shortage of quality coffee beans is here. And hopefully you've already gotten your coffee stocked up because you've been listening to me and listening to others like me. But hopefully you've gotten your coffee because if you don't, um, we're going to see these shelves possibly get very bare very soon so please do stock up there's still some uh, generic coffee at walmart if you can take that stuff or get your favorite brand whatever while it still exists um, chicken is low at, at walmart but um, i don't like to put too much stock in that because it can be uh, rather fickle because they just didn't get it out there just there but you can see by the prices that it's significant 286 a pound i paid just over three dollars a pound for ground beef and yet you're supposed to pay almost that much for uh, chicken breast 
which I think is ridiculous. There is something going on with frozen pizzas. That is for sure. Um, there's a lot of holes in frozen pizzas. Um, big holes, whole, whole uh, coolers empty of that. Um, and then, of course, I came over to the ice cream aisle and look what I saw here. Uh, the whole bank of ice cream freezers uh, is out of commission. Yeah, that just happened. Um, <laughs> just a couple weeks after uh, talking about this, uh, why are so many of the coolers at Walmart's out? And uh, people are chiming in, yeah, 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 yeah. And here we are with the whole ice cream banks. There were a couple ice cream coolers out uh, previously. And um, uh, I, I don't think this is fake. I think that they really are having mechanical issues. I think that they're just not doing the maintenance. I had a couple of you chime in uh, with background information on these things and saying basically Walmart just wasn't doing the maintenance on this uh, during the cough cough situation. Mm -hmm. And now they're now they're paying for it. So that's uh, that's what I got for you guys here today. Uh, if you have reports or if you're seeing something different in your stores, please chime in the comments down below. If you are seeing the same thing, chime down in the comments down below. And uh, let's uh, try to share as much information as possible about what's going on because it looks like things are starting to spiral back downwards again. All right, folks, uh, check out this video now. Um, I'll see you over there. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Steve Poplar out.